Welcome back to another episode of Driving Production. In today's episode, we're gonna be working again on the Infiniti FX50. We're gonna be converting the hydraulic power steering to an electrical one. So let's jump right into it and start taking apart the old system. Okay, so pretty much all the lines are taken out. I was able to remove them. Uh, now it's basically just putting everything, or not back together, but building the new system up. I was initially gonna mock up the uh, power sting pump on the other side, but with the washer fluid uh, reservoir, I'm gonna be uh, mounting it here on the driver's side. On top of that, it's a closer distance for the steering rack, so the lines are actually gonna be a little bit shorter for the pressure side. For the return side, they might be a little bit longer, just about the same, because they gotta go to the cooler on the other side and then work their way back here. All right, so everything seems to be wired up. The power is to the pump, the ground is uh, grounded. The hoses all go all the way down to the cooler and uh, all the way back to the steering rack. Now it's just to turn it on. So there's a little gray wire that needs to be powered. Just gonna try directly connected uh, to the battery to give the uh, 12 volt power and see if the pump uh, powers up. There you go. Wow, so it's working. We got some power. So I think the fluid, yeah, the reservoir is pretty much empty from all the fluid. I just gotta check to make sure there's no leaks and uh, then that'll be pretty much it. I just pulled out the FX50 from uh, the work area 
it seems to work really well honestly like I can just flick on the power steering pump just like this and then a few seconds later it comes on the, tr the power steering is very smooth uh, it works very well and then as soon as I turn it off there's no more power steering so that's a pretty uh, pretty neat little thing uh, I'm gonna go for a first test drive see how it drives honestly like there's a nice weight to the steering wheel it feels pretty good um, I'm really happy on how it turned out on top of that you can just turn it on and off so if you want a little bit more response a little bit more weight to the steering wheel you can just turn it off honestly overall like it took a little bit to, to to install everything and to mount the pump and to find find a proper place to mount the pump a lot of people tend to mount the pump uh, in the back it seems to be a lot uh, more common for like drift uh, cars and stuff like that uh, so where room is might not be as much of a restraint uh, but it, especially that uh, Tony wanted to keep this car it's his car he's using uh, every day so he didn't want to we didn't want to mount the pump in the trunk right so uh, to find the mounting point was a little bit of a challenge uh, but apart from that it's pretty straightforward just removing the, the old rusted out line uh, was a little bit tricky at parts too um, but everything went pretty well honestly I'm really happy on how it turned out and uh, it has a nice little weight to, to the steering wheel so if you have any questions just let me know in the comments below and we'll see you guys next time thanks for watching